All right, fellas, what's going on? Dananu here, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And in this video here, we're going to be talking about Microsoft's conference at E3. And I was going to do all of this into one podcast video, but I knew I was going to be making, you know, a few videos and topics talking about this. So instead of making like an hour and a half to two hour long video talking about E3, um, I'm just going to break it up you know, to make it easier, you know, easier to watch on you guys and break things up uh, by the individual conferences and things like that. So Microsoft, uh, E3 overall in general, let me just say this first before we get started, it, it, it felt flaccid this year. It felt limp. It felt, I'm not going to say it's not bad, but you know, it was underwhelming is what I'm trying to say. And, um, I don't think nobody really had a great conference <laughs> this year. Um, maybe Bethesda was all right. Bethesda was okay. Um, I think I've seen uh, just them, Microsoft, and Sony so far. I still got to go back and watch everybody else's. But um, as far as the main, you know, Microsoft and Sony, uh, they just felt kind of flaccid this year, YouTube. Um, I knew Microsoft was going to be in a little bit of trouble uh, because they don't have exclusives. Um, yeah, you got you got the uh, the Xbox One S, as I think they're calling it, which is a really dumb name, but um, it's it's great and all. I'm glad to see them pushing the boundaries as far as what console hardware can do. That's great. I'm all for it. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's the right step that they need to go in for their uh, for their brand, so to speak. Um, I know I've been saying this before in a few commentaries. They need games, YouTube. They're in a position where they're not going to go bankrupt, but it's it's like if I was an investor, I would be like, hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Because right now they don't have oh, inventory is full. I'm bringing my resident black chick, but um, it's they don't have a lot of games. Uh, even um, I have a full list of games here on my other monitor here. You have uh, like five or six exclusives to to your console and platform. And it's um, it's not even really exclusive to console because now um, I think they're pushing everything to Windows too. So why get an Xbox One? There is like damn near. Oh, I almost trying to. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to use that, but I forgot what menu I was in. It's um, you have nothing driving people to like your console. Like what the fuck? And it is just I don't understand. And, and they put themselves in this position. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you know, it's doing good. The Xbox One S can really, you know, you know, bring them back. No, it ain't going to do shit, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I've been playing games and, you know, doing all this stuff, you know, kind of sort of stuff. This has been my hobby and medium of choice since I was a kid. So it's like, yeah, like having a newer console is great. Like, you know, that puts you above Sony right now as far as like, oh, our console is better than yours. That's fine, but if you don't have nothing to play on it, you, you, you don't have no, you know, you don't have no Halo to drop, no big game, like, to put on that console to make people want to buy it, it's just, I mean, 4K by itself is not going to do it, YouTube, I'm sorry. All the games that they showed at E3 and stuff is like, okay, you know, they look pretty decent, but like 90% of them was fucking third parties or... Or um, console launch exclusives, not necessarily full exclusives. They're just, you know, timed exclusives, probably. And it's just, I'm sorry, that's not going to do it, YouTube. I mean, you can have the biggest and fastest console in the world. Like I said in my last commentary talking about uh, the Scorpio and everything. It's just, it's not going to save you at the end of the day. Look at Sony. Last gen Sony had the best console. Look at the position they was in. So you see what I'm saying, YouTube? It's not going to do anything. I mean, you know, it's not going to... All those fanboys who think that it's going to, you know, make Xbox come back. I'm sorry. It's not going to do that. And none of the exclusive games that they have are going to push any weight. Like State of Decay 2? No, I'm sorry. Let's see what their exclusives are. Uh, you have what? Um, Crackdown 3. Sorry, Crackdown 1 and 2 were, were never big hits. Not going to happen. Um, let me go down here. Forza. Okay. That's a racing game. So it's like a niche audience kind of game, but you know, people play racing games. So that may do a little bit of something if people are into racing games. Um, let's see what else here you have. Uh, 
Let's see. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Looks like an okay game. Again, not selling consoles, though. Uh, sea of Thieves. Maybe if you're into pirates. I know I'm particularly not. I'm into ninjas. But, like, again, I don't see that. That's not selling systems like that. That's not moving weight. You know, it's it may sell a system or two, but that's it. You know, it's... I mean, a lot of people love pirates and everything. And, you know, and I give it that. But that's not you know selling your brand <laughs> by itself then you have state of the k2 yeah okay and like uh what was this super lucky's tale you know and that's it it's like there's no triple a games there none i don't know what they doing over there man like i was expecting at e3 like i knew that they didn't have exclusive right and uh they don't have no really no first party development studios cranking out any products that's what they need they need like like how Sony has those uh, those guys like well like you have like what Naughty Dog, uh, Sucker Punch, um, all those different like studios that develop those games for you know PlayStation. That's what Xbox needs. They need to buy like a couple studios or get two studios together and start pushing out games. That's what they need to do. Maybe that's what they're doing with uh. 343's thing, I think, what, like, what, uh, what did they call their thing, uh, First Strike or something, part of their people broke off, and, you know, they're gonna be making games, so I'm guessing they're gonna be making stuff for Xbox, but I'm just saying, at least you gotta come out with something, you should have, like, two or three studios pumping out, you know, products for your brand exclusively, and, you know, over time, hope they can become as good as, you know, some of the people that PlayStation got, because some of the people that PlayStation got, I'm sorry, they don't point you to, um, I mean, I'm gonna talk about PlayStation in the next video, but I mean, you got like God of War, um, you got the, the that new Uncharted spinoff thing with uh, Claudia Black. Uh, it's like PlayStation got so many exclusive games that you know that Microsoft just doesn't have, and they don't have nothing that could sell their console. Uh, even the console, I mean, not the console, the presentation itself was kind of. At least Sony was trying something different with their presentations. But, uh, Microsoft's was kind of, I'm not going to say their focus was in the wrong place, um, cause they definitely making a new console. They want people to, you know, to, to hear about it and all that good stuff. So they came right out the gate with that. Um, it felt very formulaic. <laughs> it felt like it was like, here, uh, here's a presentation made by business people. You know, not by peepers. What they should have did was they should have made it uh, more casual. You know, instead of coming out there and trying to be all business-like and all that shit, they should have just came out there and been like, look, you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to compete with Sony. We're just trying to do our own thing. Here's our console. We got this game coming out for it. We got this game coming out for it. Give people a reason to be, to be pumped about your system. I'm trying to find the boss in this area, so excuse me for just wandering around the same area. But I know most uh, most of these places in this game, you have a, a sky shard and a boss, so I'm trying to find the boss. Are you the boss? Yeah, you got a special name. Alright, you might be the boss. But uh, so far, what I'm seeing, like, yeah, you have a lot of other timed exclusives and console, um, console, yeah, console, <laughs> console launch exclusives. Um, and some of them look pretty good. I'm not going to even lie. Like, you have Black Desert Online coming. Um, I'm probably going to try that when it comes out. But again, that's a console launch exclusive. So I may just wait to get it on PlayStation. Um, you also have, let's see, what else uh, piqued my interest here? Let me see. Uh, Anthem, but I think that's also coming to PlayStation. Not 100% sure, but I don't think it's an exclusive. Um, you have uh, Assassin's Creed, the new one that's uh, set to be in Egypt. Uh, that's okay, I guess, but I'm, I played out of Assassin's Creed. They lost me as, as a customer. Um, I may probably play this new one just to try it out, just to see if it feels any different, but I'm not expecting much from it. Um, you have, uh, I think they had a DBZ fighting game. I also think that's not an, uh, not an exclusive. Um, I'm a huge DBZ fan, so I'm probably going to pick that up. Reminds me a lot of the older DBZ games, and it seems fast and frantic. And the fact that I think it was also developed by um, the guys who did uh, Blaze Blue, so you know it's not going to be shitty like some of the other newer recent DBZ games. Um, I personally think the series fell off after like Budokai Three, but they just kept pumping out bullshit. Um, let's see what else they got. Um, Life is Strange, I think. Wasn't that already on Xbox, though? 
Unless that was like a a sequel to it. Maybe they haven't, you know, gave it a subtitle or nothing. But but I think this is gonna be like a prequel or something. I, I remember seeing like the uh, the teaser or whatever they had. It looks like it may be a prequel. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, only because if it's a prequel, then that's gonna be before she gets her time mani uh, manipulation powers. So that's half of the fun because that got you in a half of the. Uh, you know the whole butterfly effect isn't going to be in the game if that's if that's the case. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Uh, Metro Exodus, uh, that was that looked pretty decent. Uh, I will say that um, I was a fan of the premise of Metro. Metro feels like it will be a great book. I don't know if they base this video game off of anything, but it feels like it will be a great book. The first game was good. It was great for what they did. Felt like they didn't have the money that they should have had. Um, but uh, I liked certain concepts of uh, of the game, and I'm probably going to be picking up uh, the new one when it drops. Uh, Middle of Earth, that's a must buy for me. The first game, even though um, I, I don't think I did a let's play of it, but I love the hell out of the first game. That's a must buy. Um, Minecraft in 4K, what the fuck was they doing with that bullshit? <laughs> like, <laughs> I really don't respect the name of the knights, but, but like. <laughs> My Minecraft in 4K? <laughs> How was that possible? <clears throat> Excuse me, YouTube. But like Minecraft in 4K, like <laughs> How? <laughs> you know? Um I mean that's great. Uh the greatest thing about that I um I will say is this. I'm not big into Minecraft. Um but I know a lot of people are. Um I think I remember seeing something that they're linking the communities between PC, Xbox things like that that's great for that i wish sony would jump on board with um uh cross-platform play i don't know what the hell they're thinking with that but um my, uh, that's gonna be good for minecraft and uh let's see one game that does pique my interest though i've been thinking about jumping into it uh, on youtube um i'm not big into survival type games like that but um uh, what's it called player let's see players unknowns battlegrounds you're right a few people I'm sub to play it and things like that. And I've been thinking about picking it up on PC. Like, I was going to buy it. But then I realized that it's uh, still in beta. So I don't think it's actually out yet. Um, but bringing something like that to the Xbox One platform, that could be very good. Um, only because that's like a... It's it's kind of like a new genre or new-ish genre that a lot of people play. And uh, I know I'm not big into it. I've been thinking about picking up that in like H1Z1 and... A few other times, but I've just never pulled the trigger on on the purchase. But um, bringing something like that to console, a lot of people do play that kind of sort of stuff, and that seems like you know that would at least get a lot of people to play with their friends and all that kind of sort of stuff. But again, that's not an exclusive. I think that's a timed exclusive. So again, what's what's the point? in you know what they should have did was paid them off and got that to be a console exclusive. But developers don't want to do that nowadays because that limits how much money they make. Um, it's, I just don't know. See, that's why you need first party developers, like I was saying. Sea of Thieves, I mean, it looks good for what it is. But, you know, I'm not a Pirates fan, so to me, I mean, they can cancel the game tomorrow and I wouldn't care. Uh, but for those of you, you know, people who like pirate stuff, hey, more power to you. Um, it's just they really don't have a whole lot as far as, like, things that's going to sell their uh, sell their systems. And even during the presentation, it, it was their presentation was OK. It felt by the numbers. Um, there was no wow factor there. They didn't blow anybody away or, or, or at least they didn't blow me away, I should say. Um, they didn't really do anything to to put themselves on a pedestal so much higher than Sony besides saying we had the, you know, the new Xbox. And it's that's OK. But again, PlayStation has the market, YouTube. So, like, Sony's conference was flashy, too. I'll get to them in my next video, but it, it, it's just they didn't have to do anything. They have the market. They have the games. They got Xbox need, you know, needed to come out the gate and strong. They needed to shit on them like a... Uh, they needed to shit on them like a, <laughs> like a, a politician, you know, like when they make those po uh, political commercials and they'd be like, here is what PlayStation is not doing. Here is what we're doing is because we're Xbox. We're so much, we're so much better than, you know, what this than they are. That's what they should have did. Um, maybe had a, 
a few unique purchases and games that you can buy for the Xbox. You know, but I'm sorry, they just didn't have anything really. Am I not supposed to kill these guys? Because, like... Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. All right. Because something tells me he can't join if he's dead, so... I think I'm probably doing this wrong. This is not a good time for the Knights of the Flame to be divided. You're right. This does okay, okay, cool. All right. But, yeah, it just doesn't... Uh, Microsoft's conference was kind of, it was weird, you know, it, it's, it wasn't great, it wasn't wow, it didn't, you know, it didn't make you shit your pants, <laughs> you know, it didn't make you wet yourself with laughter, but uh, it was, you know, it was okay, and that's my problem with it, like, this was the E3 where I was expecting them, since they've been uh, number two this whole generation, I was expecting them to come out the gate and just kick open the door and be like, we're here, bitches. We're motherfucking Xbox. And they just didn't do it, you know. And it's... And it's, it's like I said before, it's the position they put themselves in. Uh, maybe they'll get there eventually. But I think it's going to be one of those things where it's going to take them probably a... Maybe by this time next year, they may have some decent stuff to come out for it. And uh, I just don't think having a bigger and better console is going to push their brand in any kind of way i think uh yeah a, a few people will you know we're gonna buy the new xbox but um 4k just isn't there yet like it's great don't get me wrong a lot of people have 4k tvs but um that's not a big enough uh, big enough selling point uh i think uh they also mentioned that it's gonna have backwards compatibility i guess that's fun for the people who do that i'm not one of them i still have my 360 like right there and it's it still works works fine so i'm probably not gonna buy the new xbox but uh i mean for those of you guys who are, you know who are in backwards compatible um backwards compatible play then hey i mean more power to you but uh i think i read an article a couple weeks ago that said like yeah a lot of people talk about they want it but a lot of people don't actually use it so i don't know <laughs> if, if that's really true or not but you know more features can never be a bad thing let me just say that from an electronic uh, consumer standpoint more features can never be a bad thing unless those features mess up with or you know the the product or with the with the dashboard of the xbox or something you know like all the streaming features of the xbox one but if they can make everything work seamlessly that could be you know be nothing but a good thing um I'm trying to think of other things that they have let me uh scroll down my little list here I'm trying to think of other games that that can really sell their product, really. Uh, let me watch my health, too. Hold on, let me kill these guys real quick, YouTube. Give me a sec. Alright. Uh, let me see. Hmm... I'm scrolling down a list of like all the the stuff you also had cuphead ah that's not really i grew up watching cartoons like that so to me cuphead is like hey i could care less about it but um i guess that could be good for a lot of uh newer gamers who uh never really experienced you know that kind of sort of animation i guess that's cool um tacoma looks okay uh but again i'm big in a sci-fi um code vein I like anime and I like vampires, so win-win for me. <laughs> um, I might uh, might try that out. Um, everything else is kind of like I'm not gonna say B-rate, but it's not AAA. It's just gonna go downhill. Um, you know, I don't see a lot of these other miscellaneous third-party games really pushing the console because if you already have um, a PlayStation, if most of these things on Xboxes and Microsoft lists are timed timed exclusives third-party games so why would you go out and purchase an xbox scorpio if you were going to do that or buy the game on xbox when you could just wait and play on the platform of your choice that's all i'm going to say that's what i mean by it's not gonna it's not gonna sell xboxes yeah people might pick up the game and play it on xbox if they already have one but you're not bringing in any new people you know so to speak so all right did that guy blow the sea horn okay I'm supposed to go back here. 
Give me a sec, YouTube. Gotta see what this quest wants me to do. Uh, maybe I gotta go to the fort. Uh, let me change my quest here. Gamer problems, but hold on. Uh, which quest? Where am I? Stormhaven? Uh, da -da 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 -da, no. Here we go. Alright. Probably gotta go in there, go to the top floor, and blow the horn. I mean, but yeah, Microsoft's conference, I mean, it was just okay. I mean, it felt, uh, you know. Like I said, they didn't wow me <laughs> in any shape or form. But. Um, if you're into Xbox, then I guess, you know, they probably won E3 for you, uh, being the fact that they got a new console. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't think really, I can't say like, oh, Sony won, Microsoft won. I just think it's, E3, E3 in general was just bland to me. Um, I, I talk about the other conferences and things like that, um, as far as, uh, you know, the big ones. And um, it just... I don't know. I don't know. Something was missing, you two. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one who felt that way, but I just think something was missing. And um, I just don't know what uh, don't know what Microsoft can do at this point. Besides, you know, you need product. You need to be able to push your 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 agenda, so to speak. And uh, I don't think they did. They really, you know, they did a really good job uh, at E3. It's not to say, like I said, it's they didn't have a bad conference. I don't want to get somebody to cuss me out in the comment section. <laughs> um, like I said, it wasn't bad, but it, it's just they didn't come out. Like, this was the perfect opportunity for them to come out with, like, yo, we got that new Halo that's dropping this year. You know, granted, I knew that wasn't going to be the case because, you know, Halo, you know, always comes out around the same time period, but... This has been a perfect opportunity to at least do something, have some kind of major game to kick open the door to get people excited about, oh shit, this is coming to the Xbox One X, you know, and just, you know, and have it be good, you know, have it be badass, but, um, I don't know, I just think that they kind of missed the ball on that, maybe they felt that, you know, they didn't need to, but giving away Sony is pushing their shit in, I mean, I, I mean, I really think that they need to do something. Um, because right now it's, <laughs> it's not looking good for him, YouTube. It's definitely not looking good. Let me see. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, really trying to think of anything else that uh, I can really talk about E3 or, or not E3, but Microsoft in general. Um, Uh, I think, um, instead of talking about, um, I think how I think they could have made it better was instead of talking about, oh, it has this much processing power, it has this many, you know, teraflops and all that shit, most casual people don't even know what the fuck that is, honestly. Uh, I, I mean, unless you're into, like, computers or stuff like I am, or you're, uh, you know, somebody who's into hardware and, you know, like that, you know what they are, but... You know, most casual people, and that's most of people buying buying your console or probably watching your presentations, they don't know what that is. So to so to have it, you know, this isn't the early nineties where you can come out with, you know, a phrase and have it take off and have that sell your marketing like, oh, this is just blast processing, like what Sega did back in the day. When there's no such thing as blast processing. <laughs> um it's they should have just focused on the console itself, I mean, not necessarily got into the specs, because if you like, I do tech support for a living, right? And that's the first thing they tell you when doing tech support is, don't talk, um, don't talk like, uh, don't use terms that people aren't familiar with. Break everything down, you know, to the consumer. And that's what I think they should have did. They should have came out there and be like, look, we got this bigger and better console. It's gonna have backwards compatibility. Um, uh, it's it's let's say four four or five times faster than Xbox, so loading screens aren't going to be a problem. They should have went into how the con how the console was going to be better, not necessarily uh, saying how much bigger and you know and what it can do. Like oh, it could do 4K. For, you know, forget all of that. Talk about how how much it's different from your current so, you know your current console and why people should want to upgrade to this new one. That would have sold it a little bit better. And I just don't think that they had a good, uh, 
a good way of pulling that off. So, and uh, that was one of the things um, I know when I seen Sony's conference uh, after our, you know after the fact. Maybe Sony's conference felt like they they had something lined up, but then they cut it out at the last minute. <laughs> you know, and, and maybe that was after seeing Xbox's uh, uh, presentation. Is because it, it just it felt. Maybe it didn't give uh, the response that they, you know, w was going to hope it was going to get. And uh, maybe Sony was like, all right, well, now we don't got to come out with like the Last of Us game, you know, coming out this year. You know, we don't got to come out with that badass trailer we had. I think they're saving stuff for their own uh, conference and everything. I know a few other people are thinking that as well. And uh, I think it's true also because it, it feels like Sony's conference just, you know, they just came out there. They, they didn't even have people come out there and talk you to. That kind of surprised me. They was just like, you know what, here, you know, here are these games. And oh, uh, you waiting for that badass Spider-Man game? Here you go. You know, it just it just felt like they didn't have to work hard. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably because they own the market. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying before. Um it, it, it's just you know, something that, you know, that they have in Microsoft. That's why, I, you know, you know that's why I was saying this was the perfect time to come out with something and have it truly be something. Because I knew Sony was going to think that way because of how the big lead that they have in the market and as far as how many units they have sold or, you know, versus uh, Xbox One. And um, I just thought Xbox was going to see that too and be like, you know what, we got, you know, we got something for that ass, <laughs> you know. But, um, I mean, they just, I guess they thought the Scorpio was going, you know, you know, maybe they think people are going to buy the Scorpio like that, but... I mean, it's, that's always been the case is software always drops hardware. Always. You know, it's always going to be that way because that's like saying I could have the best TV in the world. You know, it, you know, like it could do all the greatest things that I ever wanted a TV to do. But if you don't give me the, the, the right cable programming or the movies I want to watch on it, then what's the what's the point in having a fucking television? Um, so at the end of the day, that's that's going to oh, I got to blow the horn. OK. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's their biggest problem is they need games. They have to come out with uh, great first party games. They got to come out there with those AAA titles that make people want to buy their system and their products. Especially now that they're pushing everything out the windows, too. That's just stupid not to have something like that, because now everybody who has a PC, they're going to be buying games on PC. I know. I mean, I know I am because I have a gaming PC. My PC is the shit. So it's like, I'm not even going to buy a new Xbox. I'm just going to do 4K and all that shit on my computer. Why not? There we go. So so it's just like, I just don't know, you know, what they're thinking. I, I mean, in that regard, maybe they think that consoles, are, you know, are going to be, you know, going to do something different, you know, you know, it's where hardware is going to drive software. But I just don't think that's the case, you two. I really don't. But I've known to been wrong before, so I'm not going to say it's going to happen, but I'm like 90% sure it's going to happen. All right, let me go back and talk to this guy. We can finish out this quest and finish out this video. No, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Okay. Did I mess up? Okay, no. Went the wrong way. And that price for the Xbox, uh, the new Xbox 2, that's gonna... That's gonna probably turn a lot of people off. I mean, I know people are gonna buy it regardless, but it, it's one of those things, because I think it's, what, like $500? I knew it had to be up there in price. Um, only because, I mean, if you put that much hardware in it, I mean, it, it, I mean they're gonna make you pay it. Uh, pay for it, because they have to, you know make a profit on the console some kind of way but um it's gonna turn off a lot of people uh it reminds me of how like when playstation uh when the playstation 3 came out i think it was around that price too and people were were bitching about how it should have been 400 maybe 300 things like that people are gonna bitch at first but i just don't think that's gonna turn off a lot of people especially when everything's coming out on playstation so I agree for sure because I just don't think those games are gonna sell consoles like There's that no so I think if they're looking at the price and 
Thank they're you. trying to judge the console whether they should or should not get it. They're going to be like, you know what, maybe I should wait wait until this is on PlayStation. I think that's what they're going to do. So. Troy Slain, I'm assuming command of Firebrand Keep for now. Needless to say, preparations to march to Alcair Castle have been called off. All right. But all right, fellas, that's just been my thoughts on Microsoft's conference at E3. Uh, in my next one, we're going to be talking about Sony. And then we're going to probably be talking about uh, Ubisoft and Bethesda. I might kind of throw them all into one. Um, but if you guys have anything to say down in the comments, let me know. My name is Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.